And now after doing all the, with the hand stuff, now I'm gonna show you something special. I'm gonna show myself under the makeup, under latex type skin, and try to horrify you guys <laughs> as best as I can. But hopefully that will work out. This is some of the supplies that we use just to make the latex mask. Actually a latex mask kit was one. Vampire blood, grease paint, which actually sticks better to a latex mask, and some brushes. What I'm gonna be doing now is try to dry off my face because what's, what happens when you put the, uh, the latex skin onto your face it with spirit gum, the spirit gum does not actually hold onto your face. It will start sliding off, so you have to make sure your face is 100% dry. So right now I have on wipes that actually has alcohol. It will dry my skin up pretty quickly. So I'm just right now wetting and trying to dry as much as I can off. And then I have some napkins on right here so once this goes on on everything should be completely dry uh, one of the things i just put on myself right now is this little white stuff that's actually powder that i wanted to put on my face so again everything stays dry so i won't sweat and i am right now i'm going to just show you what the skin looks like this is how the mask i'm going to be putting on myself what it is is that, like I say, you see it has no eyes and even on the bottom part, the nose is all covered. We actually take it off. So right now I'm gonna just peel it off and just make it that I actually see through it, but make it enough that it looks like the skin itself, as you can see here, that looks still I can still see through you, and also it looks part of the of the effect. All right, so right now, um, as you hear, it's gonna be starting applying some spirit gum on to the mask itself. So she will be applying to the edges. So once it starts being applied to the edges, she's gonna start to try to fit it onto my face and try to really match it up. Because what's gonna happen is that you want to have that effect that it starts moving with me. So uh, everything will be moving, moving towards, moving up, everything. So, and again, spirit gum is very, very sticky. It will feel like it's gonna be part of your face. And there's a spirit gum removal. If you don't remove it without the spirit gum removal, it is very painful. Trust me, I've done it already twice. <laughs> so just to show you how strong it is, I just applied a little bit on the top, and we're just gonna place it on his head. And you can see it's not really moving. And I'm gonna continue putting this spirit gum around the mask and pulling if I need to. And this doesn't sting, it doesn't bother him, it's, right? Mm -mm. Just in a different format of pieces. So does this require steady hands? Um, when you're pulling and, and moving it around, yeah, because you don't want to tear the mask, it's pretty, um, pretty solid if you move it around, but yeah, you still want to be careful. So this we just got from the kit here, and you can get that in any department store where they sell Halloween goods. How you feeling under there? Hot. <laughs> so that's before the makeup, and we're ready to apply the makeup. This doesn't have to be perfect because you're gonna apply more product, different colors on top. We're just trying to get as much product onto the mask as possible. If you think of some of the special effects like with how Robbie Dali Jr. did with his Iron Man suit or even uh, Christian Bell with the Batman suits, those guys were in their suits sometimes three to four hours at a time and it was very hot, sometimes uncomfortable, depending on the certain situations. And, but it was part of their role. And especially for any actor, to get into a part and get into a character, especially with uh, special effects makeup, is actually a thrilling, um, a thrilling aspect because you're really changing a whole character aspect of what you want to do. 
if you think of um, if anybody's seen the movie uh, from Dust to Dawn, one of the one of the special effects makeup artists there, he actually was also in the movie just to see his own uh, stuff being done to become the character. Mm-hmm. He became a vampire. Here's a, a complete latex mask that I have on. That concludes our first episode. I want to thank Jonathan Vargas and the Kingsbridge Library. For more information, you can check out the links down below. We've lifted some books. And be sure to check out our second episode next month. Mom? My name is Jordan, and today we'll be featuring. <laughs> I'm here with Jonathan. There. <laughs> Have you ever wondered? In have you ever? Oh. Have you? <laughs> and face mask and um, hand, hand special mask. Do that again. Can we say it again? Got it. I thought the first one was really good.